Well, that was Jefferson's shot right there. Uh, a deep two, but. Marcus Carr from three point land and he knocks it down. Here's Carr, top of the key. He's going to let that one fly, and that's nothing but net for Marcus Carr. He's now got 25. Already picked up two quick fouls, so he comes out of the game. Now Liam Robbins hoists from deep, and that one falls. How about that? Carr looking to generate. Here's the step back three for the lead. Clutch when it counts. His name is Marcus Carr. And he jabs, step back. Anderson recovers well, doesn't matter. Marcus Carr, smooth when Minnesota needed him the most. Probably our most impressive Big Ten standout presented by Auto Owners Insurance Play. Ooh, T. Dot, stand up. Toronto's finest. His car certainly a little quieter than he's been so far, but that three goes for Carr. And Minnesota, just like that, a team that can really score in a hurry. Make a play here. Long three on the way. It drops for Gabe Kalsher. Gotch for three. Minnesota's up ten. Booth Gotch helps the gopher. But Jim Christian told us that they have to take advantage of the gambles that Minnesota has. So if they're trying to, to cheat the lanes and BC gets that shot right around the paint, that's what I'm talking about. The shot comes up short for Liam Robbins. BC's defense on the help side especially has been really good tonight. This move in the post by the Lehigh transfer. And moments ago, a foul on Steph Mitchell. That's his fourth. Booth Gotch answers with a three. I failed to ask Richard Pitino what his handicap was for golf, by the way. Too many. <laughs> <laughs> the three-point attempt in the final seconds of the first half. Marcus Carr. It's frustrating if you're Kansas City. You do a pretty good job to force him into a fadeaway with a hand in his face. Gophers by a dude. Gotch. Wanted it. Carr does. Launches. Bucket and one. Chance to tack on one more at the line when shows you from outside. He's lethal and deadly. It's the gopher. Good defense by Robbins. Carr pushes. Three ball. Kelsher counted in one. And another four point play opportunity for the Golden Gophers. Because when he shoots the ball well up on the outside, that's going to loosen up the inside play for the inside players. Five to shoot. Mashburn kicks it, Eden for three, and he knocks it down. Hate Trent, but watch what he does. Finds the open man. Kept his pace and kept his eyes up. Eden just out hustling the Hawkeyes to the rebound. That's just playing harder. And honestly, Minnesota gets a wide open look, get an offensive rebound, and then Marcus Carr just getting it done. <laughs> just pointing out a fact. It was, That's but all it was. It's a free throw. All right, well, I think that was just something that happened independently. As Carr hits the three, and we're back to a one-possession game. It's not the case with Marcus Carr. He gets you going so hard, and look at how much space he covers. Almost jumping back, getting behind that three-point line. But this is Marcus Carr time right here. Carr around the screen for three. Got it! Marcus Carr has tied this one up to get here you, you come off take him right back off to side you cannot go under this screen you've got a trail over the back side and marcus carr boy what, what a shot and what a moment for a guy that's been one of the best point guard 204th all-time meeting between these two been a great one johnson rattles home another three marcus carr comes off just a miscommunication cj frederick Goes with the ball hand. Lost badly at Illinois in their lone road game, but that huge victory against Iowa. And an early three-pointer picking up where they left off against the Hawkeyes. Liam Robbins from outside. Only really good pass by Rocket Watts and some pick-and-roll action. And if you're the big there, that's got to be a bucket. 
Carr stepping back, knocking down the three. He's coming off back-to-back 30-point -back performances. Hand on it. And then Marcus Carr has, has just been phenomenal. Him and Carr. This is Marcus Carr time. That's his patented step back. And kind of a fitting ending to a dominant first half for Minnesota as they go up by 20. Much basketball, and he, he was salivating with this matchup. The step back jumper gets away, gets space. It's clearly out of his hand. A big time shot by Marcus Carr to end the half. Cross-court pass here to Kelsher for three. And finally, Minnesota's Trey Williams comes away with it. When Keegan Murray gets in the weight room, Big Ten, watch out. Holy cow, Marcus Carr, five points now after a quiet start. Outstanding all season long for Minnesota. He's getting it going here on the road in Iowa City. Also, have to mention our very own Jess Settles yes. of the Big Ten Network on that list as well. That's exactly right. Well, Iowa, great. Carr knocks it down. Duncan Robinson is the greatest story in basketball with that type of thing, absolutely. Robbins. Oh, a line drive, a laser. And this, I don't care what you do defensively. This is a determined guy, Liam Robbins, by Juwan Howard taking him out. Carr dribbling in the middle of the lane to Robbins for another. Can shoot. And he makes your height theory on officials is I mean it's like it's otherworldly. No. It's true. It's so true. Every coach will tell you. Oh Robbins for three. And Robbins, I agree, Jason. Hey, embrace it, baby. Embrace the hate. Well, that's an absolute. And Carl trains the three. So the Big Ten's fourth leading scorer. Robbins calling for it inside. Johnson, cross court, car. Hate to shoot. Deep jump shot. Rattles home. Right on time, right? Yes. Car. Creating. Robbins pops out. Takes a long three. Big foul. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, really, right here, the dribble. No hesitation. I mean, that's a big time shot. Edie had it wrapped around and tapped away by Robin. Great work down low by the big, both sides. Kelcher buries a three, and he's got five early for Minnesota. Kelcher off the screen, rings up a three. Yeah, Williams is not going to get a better look than that all game. Stefanovic took a spill. Kelcher got the flyby, sidestepped him, and drilled the three. Once he gets it and feels the double team kicking it out, whether he's looking reverse or strong side. That's a big bucket by Jamal Mashburn Jr., who had his career high of 11 on Monday against Nebraska. Aggressive on defense, established the inside, attacked the zone with the dribble. Car smothered, long jumper, good! Shot clock at five. This will give Williams an open look, and he buries it. Three ball for Trey Williams. That was the best offensive segment. Long three, much needed Gabe Kalsher. Gabe hit a couple the other night. Here's Carr, the leader. 19.4 points a game. Late shot clock. This is when he thrives. Deep three, got it. Boy, and he'll he'll get it better because he's used to working hard. Carr again, this time from the other side of the floor. Oh, Brad Underwood is having to fit. It's the net. Marcus Carr, you see where Cabello was not at home. I think he could be the mayor of Champagne. I agree. Robbins kicks out. Good pass. And that's the result. Booth Gotch from downtown. You know, it's what I call you made a 50-50 play. Don't make 50-50 plays. Take 50-50 shots. That's a 50-50 shot. Carr over Bowie. He hits.
Marcus Carr, Minnesota's leader. Step back three, pretty. His 49th triple of the year. So what he does is drive his hand real hard, real hard, and then just pull the ball back on the dribble. Off the mark for Teddy Allen. Rebound comes down. Carr pushes. And Carr will stop and pop and bury the three. He's hit two of those. And Minnesota out in front. Carr looking for his third triple in the first half, and he's got it. On the bench right now in this 4-4 ball game. Minnesota trying to take advantage of the Johnson Mulcahy matchup, but Williams has other plans. You might have heard something else there as Nance misses on the bunny. And Williams knocking it down from three. Also retrieve 11 per ball game, and then you saw the score at the rim by Carr. Nice job. Trying to hurt him. Yeah. Just trying to box out. But an opportunity here for Minnesota as Carr steps back for a three. Nobody does the step back three better in this league than Marcus Carr. Went their way is Marcus Carr. Yeah, Marcus Carr, like you said, Kevin, he can create space with the best of them. I mean, Dwayne Watts, you got to make Ohio State pay for that double. Carr stepping through. There's Eden for the offensive rebound. Carr in the corner. That three falls. Marcus Carr's got 13, and the Gophers are back with him seven. The floor. You see Enan right there comes up with a really good offensive rebound, and Carr runs over to get into his airspace. Williams back to Enan. Here's Booth Gotch for three. Got a good look, and he rolled it in. And the Gophers are within five.